All right, let's get right into the last game and let's see how it goes. Um, still can win something, so it's not for nothing. And hopefully we'll get those uh, play points. But I, I guess this is my first league, so I'm not. Uh, my hopes aren't aren't that high. Um, yeah, I'm just hoping to just get a different matchup and, and learn a bit more. Uh, I've definitely underestimated how hard it is to talk while staying in time and while playing. So now I kind of appreciate the difficulty that a lot of streamers go through when they actually do this. Um, yeah, let's see how, how this one goes now. There are almost 500 players now uh, playing, which is pretty interesting. I wonder when the kind of um, peak time is for this. Probably, yeah, it must be soon. I think U.S. is probably, yeah, nighttime U.S. is probably the best time. All right, let's join in on this and see what's going on. On the die roll, we'll not be playing first. Hmm, this is a pretty good hand. I, I, I'm definitely keeping it in the dark. I can do a small pox turn one if I need to. Uh, and kill their Delver. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. This is uh, it's definitely bad news. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, this could this could be show and tell, which uh, is definitely bad news for this deck. But getting a combo in my hands is definitely not bad news. So I think what I'm going to do is. Hmm. Huh. What can I do? I can I can try to force Liliana through on turn two, which would be good. And then on turn three, I can go for the combo. The problem is that if they go show and tell and actually go off, uh, if it's Crystal Brand, they might not be able to go off. If it's uh, now this is always assuming that it is show and tell, but okay, let's go ahead this way and see how it goes. I think I'm just going to start with a, a Mox Diamond. and see how they react with that. I guess days on their end wouldn't be that bad for me because then that tells me they're not most likely show and tell. So I'll definitely get rid of uh, Marsh Flats. I have all the mana that I need, really. Although if I cast, cast Smallpox, then I don't have the mana that I need. So maybe I'm getting rid of Wasteland. And I'm playing... Um, hmm. Playing a Thespian Stage. And I'm passing. So this is in case I draw another Mox Diamond and manage to just combo them off or hmm, or something like that. But uh, it's pretty unlikely, I feel. Um, okay, I have a break on their upkeep. I'm going to remove that. They're playing a Brainstorm. Okay. Yeah, it definitely seems like show and tell, like what else plays Preordain? I'm guessing... I mean, Dreadhorde Arcanist decks might play that. Poseju is probably something I should have saved my wasteland for. <laughs> um, hmm. This is going to be a bit of a tougher one. I know that if I do play... 
I think I can I can go for this actually. Because now I'm a hundred percent certain they're they're show and tell. Obviously it would have been a lot better if I could uh waste that and then smallpox that, but I think I can I can get rid of a verdant, get rid of a swamp and still be in a good place. I can cast uh and I'll get rid of the marsh flats, yeah. And get rid of my swamp, because I can get another swamp or a bayou. Actually get a bayou. And I feel that's that should be fine. And then I can I can combo off. Probably or you know, next turn I'm casting Liliana, which is obviously pretty good. They still have to get to three lands. Or get a Lotus Petal or something, so that's pretty good. Or an Ancient Tomb, that, that gets them to three mana quickly. Okay. Now we're in a good position because I think I'm just straight up jamming um, Liliana here. And if that doesn't work, next turn it's time for the combo. So I feel that that would be good. Do they... okay, they forced that. I don't mind that, because I didn't want to discard any of these two. Um, but uh, I guess the question is, next turn I'm going for Dark Depths, if they can't find a solution for that. Hmm. Or do I, do I just go for a Wasteland? I mean, I'm afraid of, you know, land, omniscience, uh, Emrakul or something like that. Um, if they had a pedal, they would have played it. I guess I could go for Wasteland. And, uh, hmm. I mean... That's something to do, yeah. That, that gives me another wasteland in case something else happens. And hopefully there's no stifle here. Okay. Yeah, they're they're probably shown to tell. Okay. Well, I'm going for this. And um, hopefully, hopefully I get the combo. I don't think I don't think they have any kind of. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Would they have any kind of um, bounce in their main deck? I don't. Yeah, I don't think I've seen anything like that before. What's the worst thing that can happen here? get blown out. Okay. <laughs> That's the worst thing that can happen. Then then I'm good. So which one is the one with the counters? Ten counters. I'm keeping that one. I get a 2020. Mm, okay. Again, sideboarding. Okay, so definitely show and tell. We know that much. Which means spyglasses, Golgari charm, and return to nature come in. And my really slow things plus the two abrupt decays go out. I think that's right. Um, I don't think they have anything in the... Um, any graveyard shenanigans... Chalice is okay, Engineer Explosive is probably bad, but what else would I play? I guess Ashiok. Is Ashiok better than Engineered Explosives? And a Crucible. I'm going to say yes. Maybe Bitter Blossom is also better. Hmm, now I'm boarding many things, but Last Hope is definitely not good. 
I know that much. <laughs> that much I know. Um, maybe another rope decay. Okay. So this seems okay to me. But I'm not an expert. Um, all right. Let's see, I'm guessing they're going to play first. And I'm guessing, you know, let's see, let's see how they, if they mulligan. Uh, they probably don't recognize the deck that much. I'm guessing that's one of the good things. Hmm. So, two Urborgs. I only run three, so I feel that's a bit unfair. But <laughs> I think I have to mulligan this. I have no sideboard cards. Well, Bitter Blossom, but that's not good. Mm, this one might actually be worse than the previous one. So how would I keep this is the question. I mean, Spyglass is good. Chalice is kind of good. But I think I have to mulligan again. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Yeah, th this, I think I'm keeping this. What do I get rid of? Uh, I have to keep these two lands because I want to be able to cast my spells. I'll have to get rid of a wasteland. And uh, I'll get rid of the Golgari charm. Okay. Hmm. This might be a very, very quick one. Very quick one. Okay. Okay. Well, I can't do anything. And if they just show until now, well, I've lost. <laughs> they do not show until. That gives me some hope. But. I have an extremely slow hand. What What is my play here? What is their play, actually? Is their play sneak attack? Um, and then... Yeah, play sneak attack. Attack me with anything, and I lose. Hmm. That could be their play. In that case, I should be hitting the Lotus Petal right now and then hoping to draw a wasteland. Yeah, that could work. If they had show and tell, they would definitely cast it. Um, yeah, I, I can just try to do that and see how it goes. I mean, I'm not that hopeful. Um, and then I, if I get another draw, then I feel it might be in okay shape. Like if Liliana comes down, hmm, it just takes so long to, to do anything relevant. But this is the only interaction I have. I'm putting them on sneak attack. Mm, and uh, let's see. Let's see how they react. This is a very, very difficult matchup. Um, basically, I have to get very lucky and uh, hope to drop something in that's uh, from show and tell, like a Sorcerer's Spyglass or a Trinisphere, and win from there because I have no targeted discard. A bunch of wastelands sometimes work.
Right. What are they doing with that? Three mana. They're doing an impulse or, or intuition. Okay. Now, like, against that, it would have been much better for me to keep my... Um, yeah, to keep that in my hand, because they are getting show and tell. Let, let's see. Let's see how how it would have gone if I had kept it in my hand. Yeah, I kind of put them on, on sneak attack, but yeah, it was intuition. All right. So they have another petal, all right. And another land. So even if they do have sneak attack, <laughs> No, they have show and tell though. Okay, let's put a land in. Um, omniscience. So what would they have cast? Emrakul. So even if I had destroyed it in response, it doesn't do much. So this is where it really pays off to drop in Trinisphere because they wouldn't have been able to cast anything. Then I untap and then I hit it. But right now I just concede because that's that's basically, well, that's it. Okay. Now I don't think I have anything better to play really, but I'm basically I'm just hoping that I get my good cards, maybe they mulligan and I don't mulligan to, to five. And I think that gives me a fighting chance, um, and I play first, of course, because they are a really aggressive combo deck. This helps quite a bit. Chalice on one, there are worse things. A wasteland, as we saw, they're they're pretty useful. Abrupt Decay is not that useful, but I think on balance, this is okay. I might be able to draw a card also. And I wonder if I should be playing Chalice on zero. Um, no, I'd rather they don't dig and they don't find anything. Hmm. Okay. Island. All right, so they are protected from wasteland. Hmm. <laughs> so, to me, it looks like they didn't play anything. So maybe they didn't didn't have ponder. Maybe they have brainstorm to play at end of turn, but that doesn't make sense. Also, because then they would draw two cards. Um. So I could be facing right now a just straight up show and tell into something really, really bad for me. What do I do against that? Do I try to, I don't try to cast the Sorcerer's Spyglass, I think, at any point. And I think they can't respond to this with Grizzle Brand activation. So I think I'm looking at Chalice. Chalice is good for me, I think, here. Yeah, and I drop in the Sorcerer's Spyglass. So, in the unlikely event that they don't have it, they can't find it easily. Okay, brainstorm in response. All right, all right. And if then if they drop in Grizzlebrand, then I have a fighting chance of drawing a Liliana smallpox or something and trying to deal with it while Social Spyglass does its magic. But that basically gives me three turns anyway, so it's, it's not like this is the best situation for me. If they're not countering it, it's probably bad news <laughs> because that could mean that, you know, they've got what they need. They're just going off. But let's see, let's see. This looks like bad news, but let's hope for why why is omniscience on this side of the what is going on? Shouldn't it be on the other side? Am I missing something? I 
I have no idea what just happened there. <laughs> um, well, I'm, I'm going with my plan, right? Where's Oprah? Okay. Why did it appear on this side? They're playing Grizzle Brand, but they can play Intuition into Emerald. Cool, right? Or no, what does Intuition get them? Hmm. Well. Oh, three any cards. Wow. Okay, I thought it would be like only Sorcerers or, or, or only Sorcery and Instant. So they're getting the three emeralds, right? And uh, that that's game. Yeah, that's definitely game. Yeah, this is a bit of a tough one. I mean, I don't think, uh, I don't expect to win these matches really. And I was pretty lucky to, to even win a game. Um, okay. I mean, let, let's see. Let's see it. Um, we cast that. Yeah, I want to. I want to see the trigger and how it works on Magic Online. Okay, I can't respond in any way to that. And then it's sacrifice six, so. Okay. All right. That's that's the way it works. Pretty simple. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think there was any way any way to win, uh, and it's a very very tough uh, tough matchup. Cool. Okay. Well, first league uh, made plenty of mistakes. Probably could have gone maybe two three, I believe, maybe three two, if some of these things had gone slightly differently. Uh, yeah, definitely having a lot of issues with time. I think my deck is just much slower, but I, I think it's much easier to play faster in paper, actually, which is what I'm used to. Uh, I tend to play really fast in paper, and uh, I think generally activations of Sylvan Library and maybe fetching is slower, but um, no, but Sylvan Library and all these things are a lot, a lot faster to do in, in paper, I think. Um, I just have to get a bit faster with all the the numbers and the hotkeys, but uh, yeah, it was actually a lot of fun. And I'm looking to play a lot more of these over the next few weeks. Excellent. Uh, I will see you next time. Good games.